What's up guys and good evening. Fooled you a little bit, huh? It is evening time. Usually it's what's up guys and good morning, but it is evening time. Um, it's the end of the day here. And uh, what a great day it was. What a great day it was. Um, remember guys, I'm, I'm not an expert on diving. Um, we're beginners, we're learning new things every time we go down. Um, the staff here, the dive masters here, they're just great. I mean, they are so helpful and, and so full of good information. Um, but anyways, today's dive, we did two dives and it's full moon. You know, you guys, well, look up in the sky. It's full moon around the world, right? No matter where you live. Um, and then there's there was an eclipse the other day. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what you call lunar eclipse or, or some type of eclipse, um, but we were told because of a full moon and because of this eclipse, the um, the currents are strong. Um, they're just strong uh, because of everything coming together. Um, so today we did two dives, like I said, and we did some drift diving today. <clears throat> if you're not if you're if you're not a diver, you don't know what a drift dive is. A drift dive is basically when you get in the water. The current's moving and you just drift along with the current. Um, so we did those two dives. Um, it wasn't all drift diving. I would say we drift dived for maybe a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then we got to an area where we could get out of the current and get into some areas where it wasn't as strong and check things out. <clears throat> um, but wow, what an amazing day. We, we seen some things that, you know, you, you'll see things that uh, you normally see when you go under, but then there's things that are just new. They're just new and exciting and um, you never seen it. And, you know, having good dive masters and guys that have been in the water around here so much, <clears throat> they know to look for things. I mean, I'm swimming right by them and, you know, they're banging their tank. Uh, to get your attention and you get over there and it's like wow I, I didn't see that um, so yeah it was a great day um, tomorrow we're doing two more dives then I think we're gonna take off a day and do some exploring around here check check a few things out so anyways guys um, with that you know what enjoy the video all right guys so here we are in the water Got to do the selfie. Do the old selfie, selfie. Everything's okay. Thumbs up to you, Jerry. Thumbs up to you, Big Jerry. And there's Lut. Lut's just hanging out, doing her thing, enjoying her dive, giving me a smile. Then bam, right away. We weren't in the water, but five minutes, and there, there was the turtle. That's what's called a hawk's bill turtle. You look at his nose it kind of has like a little beak like a hawk therefore he's called the hawk's bill turtle he had a piece of coral there must have interrupted him in his lunch he's just munching away and flipping it up flipping it down now he's like you guys are bothering me in my lunch leave me alone turns to the guy to the right and like almost puts his face right in the camera like he's posing for his picture, his photo op, and he says, okay, that's enough, I'm out of here. But wow, what a beautiful, beautiful creature. Then I came across this, this was a puffer fish. There's so many species of puffer fish in the water, big ones, small ones, but this was probably the biggest puffer fish I've ever seen. And it's like when you try to get close to them or come after them to try to film them, it's like he doesn't want to stay there. He wants to kind of swim away and swim away, but he gave me a beautiful side shot there. Amazing. Then these were called parrotfish, giant parrotfish. There was two of them out there. You couldn't get close to them because they would take off, but I was told it's rare to see them. They were, their bodies were as big as Lutz's upper, upper torso. Then I came across this coral reef here, and you can see the blue. You see the little tiny blue fish? Like they were just beautiful blue. Of course, I had to film it. 
Then here is what's called a black frogfish. That's a black frogfish in there. It's kind of tucked in there. Can't really see them unless you come up on them, but that's a black frogfish. Then we're just kind of hanging out, doing our thing, and all of a sudden, boom, there comes another turtle. Now this is a green turtle, different than the hawksbill, of course, but she just kind of swam in, swam through, kind of like, hello everybody, everybody get your pictures, coming through, hello, photo ops, and then bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> These are what's called nudibranchs. There's two right there. Hang on. Right on the top there. They're like a purplish and a white color. They're maybe the size of your pinky. My camera cannot focus on them too well. I'm just using the GoPro. Um, but they're just so colorful. And they're just so neat to look at. Then there was one tucked up under here. But they're neat to see. These were just cool. If you look, it looks like they're breathing. <laughs> breathing in, breathing in. And I was told what they're doing is basically filtering, you know, filtering the water for whatever they're filtering it for to basically feed itself. But I thought that was neat. Neat to see that. Then of course we got little Nemo. We always gotta see how Nemo's doing. You know, they're very territorial uh, where they live. Uh, there was like a little family there kind of doing their thing he'd come out and come at the camera a little bit and, um, but yeah I always I, they just entertain me then I came across this here I gotta get to it this here is what's called an electric scallop I can't I it takes me a while to find it because they're tucked there it is you see little hairs hanging out of it and stuff um, but evidently you'll see coming up the it looks almost like electric going back and forth, but I was told there are lips in there and it just reflects the light. And I slowed it down, you can kind of see it. It looks like electric going back and forth inside there. But they, that's something I'd never seen. They were definitely cool to see. Here's another, I came across this guy. You can kind of see the head of him and it looks like he's like a snail without a shell don't ask me what it is apologize about the focus once again then I came across this was the coolest thing I seen this is a hairy orangutan crab if you see him sitting there he's hairy orange like an orangutan but it's called a hairy orangutan crab that was definitely the coolest thing that I seen on the dive all right guys the sun is starting to go down another beautiful day of diving uh Lute and i were going to just take another stroll Lute and i are going to take a stroll out here right out here um the reason first of all i gotta show you this we've seen this today right mm. and we asked the people See, work here else. we said what what the heck is this box thing it was beeping before right it was yeah, like beeping, beeping like and making a noise beep, and beep. beeping and we're like, what is this thing? You know what this is? It's a cat, cat chaser. Chaser. I guess it puts off a frequency, and then the cats don't like the frequency, so they take off running when this thing goes off. I'm like, all right, I've never seen anything like that. But anyways, we're heading out here. The reason it's like this, um, it's because of the full moon. Is it? Yeah, they said the tide's out like this because a full moon because when we were here before it was never out this far um and we were here during the phone it could be like the whole mixture of everything wasn't there some type of eclipse or something like that that was going it could be a mixture of everything um but it, it was kind of weird when i first seen it. it it reminded me oh shit there's like a tsunami getting ready to hit you know it that's what it kind of reminded me of um we're just out here looking around. Oh, look. See if we can find some critters. He's kind of smashed. Yeah. He smashed the sea urchin there. That fella didn't make it. Poor. Poor little sea urchin. 
but you definitely want to wear shoes when you walk around in low tide water like this because you don't want to step on a sea urchin. What do you see, what? I don't know. It seems like moving. That's I don't moving. Know. Hey. Oh, a little oh. crab like, a little hermit crab. <laughs> pick him up. I can't pick it up. I'm scared. Yeah, pick him up by the shell. <laughs> He ain't gonna bite you. No, it's so very soft. Yeah. He ain't yeah. gonna bite you. See him? A little yeah, hermit yeah, crab yeah. in there. He's hiding now. That's good. <laughs> yeah, anything under there? You know, you know this is shell. Shell, mm. yeah. That shell there, shell right. there. In my province we call this one Tikudamu. Do you eat them? Yeah. That could have been the shells they were looking, that lady was collecting yesterday because she was up in a rocky area. This one too. It's this a one? shell. Oh, that's a crab here too. A little crab in there? Yeah. Yeah. We call that also tikut, uh, tikut, tikut, oh. Tikut. When we were down in the province, in Mindanao, at nighttime there would be them hermit crabs all over the place. Here's a shell. I wonder what, just a shell, huh? Maybe there's something in there. Yeah, hey, there's something in there. No, that's broke shell. No, it's a broke shell. No, oh, broke shell. What are you guys looking for? What are you hunting for? Octopus. Oh, you guys are hunting octopus too. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. Did you catch any yet? No. 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 You didn't catch any yet? Oh, there's one. There's no, 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 no. I was looking at the uh, crab. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There it is, what? Oh, starfish. Yeah. There's the chocolate starfish. Yeah, yeah, chocolate. Chocolate starfish, look. Which one? Same, same. There it is. Lut's favorite starfish. No, I declined to use it. Oh. She told me the minute. Lut has declined to say the chocolate starfish is her favorite starfish because. Somebody said that. Because somebody. That it's a hey, told her a chicken. a chicken in yeah. the water yeah. somebody told her what the chocolate starfish means no, it's <laughs> the only... told you we would find the sea urchin and it's like we just hit like the little mother load here you guys check them out now these are smaller ones they get a lot bigger than this but check them out look at this Bam. There's two. There's like two, four, six, eight, ten of them here. You can see if you look real close, you can see the little, it almost looks like a little orange eye. Oh, there's a baby too. In there. Look. Then over two, here. Two, four, six. Oh yeah, there's, two, a, there's like four, a baby six, right there. Eight, ten, two. There's like a ten. baby right look there. Look at the baby. Oh, Look, so there's a baby right here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and then you got so these cute. three right here. Maybe and then, they're just like a gong. I don't want to you know, watch where I step. I don't want to step on any and crush them. Then you got these here. Two, four, six, eight of them here. And then the baby. You can see them, man. They're, they're spiky looking and everything. And it looks like it would just hurt. It would... It looks like it would just hurt if you stepped on them. But, told you we'd find them. All right, we just came up this, I guess it's a floating barge. I mean, it's moving up and down. So, I guess you would call it a floating barge, right? Where? But we're on a floating barge. No, this one called a dock, a float dock. Float dock, let's say float dock. Now, when we were here before, like right out in this area was a floating bar, but when things got shut down again and everything got changed around again, I guess they just pulled it off the water because um, no business, no business. But let me do a pan here quick. Let me show you here. Just kind of show you the coastline here of where we're at. It's just beautiful here, beautiful. The only downside to here, I would say, 
is you're not on the you're not on the side of the island here where the sun sets. If the sun set from this angle here, it would be amazing, amazing. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. More diving tomorrow, but before I go, you know what? I want to thank you guys that that just follow me through all my adventures. You know, not just you know walking street you know where the beater boys love when i go there uh, but i'm talking about you guys that you follow every every single day or every time i put up a video you're there a hundred percent um you comment you give me thumbs up or thumbs down depends if you liked it or not but you know what i really want to thank you guys um means a lot means a lot that you know you're you're interested in I guess just our my everyday life here in the Philippines um, so anyways guys with that being said take care of yourself take care of each other take care of the sick the elderly and the young if you have pets take care of your pets doesn't doesn't matter where I'm at I guess I'll just since you guys love that ending little jingle I guess I'll just keep saying it so all right guys we'll talk to you later